Okay, hello testing. How we doing? Welcome to hell. <laughs> That's the, the quick and easiest way of putting this. Welcome back to hell. Uh, a perpetual nearly three hours of suffering. Um, in a, a claymation uh, animated form. Even then it's fake claymation, but whatever. Whatever. Jokes aside though, this game is actually like not that bad. I keep saying it. I probably wouldn't rate this thing very highly, but it, it's not its not too bad. It's a little bit cursed in places though. It's a little bit cursed in places. But yeah, welcome in. But we, we only have two more to go. We have this one and then we have one next week and then we're done. We're done with the Wallace and Gromit game. It's relatively short. Ali, hello. Hope you're doing okay. Hope everything's going going well. It's so cold here today. I went out um a little bit ago and it is like it's very, very nippy today. It'd be gold. It'd be ecking gold. Oh my god. But yeah. Joel, hello sir. Hope you're doing okay. <gasps> Jess salute. Welcome in everybody. Um for anyone who doesn't know, the game that got voted for, I think I might have already said this, but as a reminder, on Monday, um, we're going to be playing uh, Journey. Journey is our most recently picked short game on the short game wheel. And on... Uh, and tomorrow, sorry. And tomorrow we're doing a bonus stream. So we're doing another stream tomorrow. Um, where we play some more Disco Elysium. Because I feel like we're making some good progress. Oh, Joel, thank you for the votes. Let's go. Got 10 more votes for Fallout 4. 20 votes for Fallout 4. Damn, okay. This is it. Fallout 4 is the new contender. Right, Fallout 4 is now 81. Meaning it's not too far behind Persona 3. Persona 3 is currently at 119 votes. Fallout 4 is at 81. And in third, we have Mother 3 at 54. Ali voted for Fallout 4. Damn, this is the Fallout 4 conspiracy. Fallout 4 is going to happen. We're at 91 votes for Fallout 4. And no <laughs> you guys... <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm sensing that... Uh, Fallout 4 might be... Might be the, the way to go, huh? 109... Wait, 109? Where did I get that, that number from? That's not what I meant to do. Uh, wait, 90. Is it 111? It should be 111, right? Or is it 101? It's 101, isn't it? Vault 101. It's 101, yeah. It's Vault 101, that's it. I can math. I can math. So I saw 119, I was like, where does the 9 go? I had a Dave moment. Oh, 119, okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's in the lead. It's in the lead. Joel, quick question for you, buddy. How poor are you now? <laughs> that must have been a good chunk of the channel points you'd saved, right? Surely. There's got to be a lot of them. You're still rich. My God, Joel is a monopoly, everyone. Not even a dent. I don't even want to know. I seem Ali's doing pretty well as well. Right, well, we have a new lead. We have a new lead. Freya, if you're watching at any point, I'm so sorry that... Um, Fallout, 3, <laughs> Fallout 4 has dethroned Persona 3. Um, it was a good run. It was a good run. You chose to waste all your channel points on beans. Honestly, it's not a waste. I don't think it's a waste. If you want to watch me suffer and eat beans, then go for it. J Boogie, welcome in. How you doing? Ah, oh, speaking of, alright. It has been time, right? I will not be tabbing out again to add any more points to the, um, 
add any more points to games while we are playing. Just because I don't want to tab out and for like the game to die and implode. So here we go. Welcome back to hell. Right, subtitles on, please. Right, work with me here. So I tried to do this earlier and it crashed on me, so um... That gives you any idea for what I've been dealing with. Right, please don't crash. <gasps> you did it, okay. We're in. We did the do. Alright. Okay, bean time as well. Before we get into it, it's time for a bean. Thank you, J-Boogie. We're going to continue J-Boogie's theory of there are only bad beans in here. Where the beans go, though? Hello? Beans? Wait, I can feel one. Sometimes they get a little bit jammed, depending on what way you've spun the thing. That's on me though, I think I'm being inconsistent with the way I spin it. Alright. I have a bean. I need to turn it down on my end. Alright. The bean we have... Looks like a white bean, which is a bad one, I think. Uh, where's my phone? I need my torch. I live in the dark like a mole. Oh god, okay, this is gonna be, um... Stinky socks or tutti frutti? Thank you, uh, oh no, it could be dishwater actually. Okay, it's either birthday cake, dishwater, stinky socks or tutti frutti. Let's go. That is fucking vile. Oh. Well, that was dishwater. I now know what that tastes like. It tastes like soap mixed with, like... Oh. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. We've had some bean luck recently. It depends on what you determine as luck, J Boogie. Is luck, like, me suffering? Or is the luck... Us actually getting good ones. <laughs> um, I think I know what you mean though. We have had a few good ones here and there, but we have had... I think the last few we've had have been bad, right? For sure. Oh god, here we go. Okay. Should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. <laughs> Patent pending, of course. Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. Oh, what do God. you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? This sounds cursed. I don't like this. Get it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Blitz says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. The poor pups have been homeless for too long. Oh, bless. Imagine if you had no place to call home sweet kennel, Gromit. <laughs> Gromit's like, uh, okay, hmm. yeah. Must be the breeze. Miss Blitz says the strays have been making mischief all over town. On Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. Oh, no wow. They'll come to heel once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Drinking Laura 
What happened? Where did they come from? They must be some of the escapees. Escapees. Oh no! Me crank. Me crank, it. Me lever. The flavor engraver. The brains of our custom flavor scanner lab. It's been scrambled. The four-legged fiends. I'm sorry, lad, but this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And Perfect. this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad, you're a dog. You can reason with them. Right, okay. All that hard work held up by a few rogue whippets. Jesus, alright. Well, that, that just happens. It just goes to show if you chat shit, immediately everything will just go to the pot. Immediately. Is it clean dishwater? No, it, it did taste like it had little old food bits in it, J Boogie. It's, um, it was not good. It was not a good time. It was only subtly, though. I will say that it mainly tasted like dishwater. But you could definitely sense there was, like, some other bits in there. Aw. Little, little rabbit. Little rabbit toy. I just did the Disco Elysium thing where I right clicked to see what was uh, interactable. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Noted. I'll be having that. Oh. Get got. Get got. Alright. What else can we work with? We interact with this poochie here. Oh, look at him go. Aww. We're going to have to calm that one down if we're ever going to roll this machine out of here. Can I give them the, the little bunny? Aww. Your old Aww. boy certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh my, you used to be so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. You love this one already. It's very cute and awesome. Oh, I, that dog is so cute. And this is the sus dog. It's like, hmm. Gonna give you the side eye, boy. Any luck with the mischief makers? Uh, we have some of the stuff back. Put the crank back on. We still need that bit. He oh. It again. What's he got there, lad? I think he's helped himself to our valuables. I wonder if that dog's part of a canine crime ring. He's only got a taste for the expensive stuff. Not quite done painting the sign yet, Gromit. That's a nice shade of blue, though, wouldn't you say? That sign would be a nice finishing touch if we could get the machine back up and running. Okay. Okay. Sure. 
I wonder if we... Can we try and put, like, one of these things in there? Okay, let's, let's just, like, do this. Careful, Gromit. The Infini Flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Alright, I reckon we take this. And then I reckon we do it again and try and take one of the other things. And I think we put that in there. Careful, Gromit. The Infini Flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Like, can I take the spatula or something from that pile? And then trick the dog into taking that instead of the crank. Because once that's in its mouth, it'll be, like, happy, if that makes sense. I'm just trying to think of, like, what would work best. What's he got there, lad? We got up again. Okay. Alright. It's fine. Um. Is there another dog upstairs? All that hard work held up by a few rogue whippets. It's really an ingenious idea. A custom flavor technology that makes sure there's an ice cream for everyone. You just take a sample of anything you fancy. Insert it into the flavor scanner mm -hmm. and press the churn button. I, I'm sure nothing is wrong with that at all, Wallace. I'm sure that you couldn't literally just... It, 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 honestly, this is the same kind of crazy technology or, like, science or whatever it is that's behind making beans that takes, like, fucking dishwater. Well, I, Wallace, I guarantee, if I look at the back of the box of these beans, it will say that Wallace made them. It's like, cracking idea, lad. Mate, let me eat shit to grommet. I can't do- I literally can't do a Wallace impression. It annoys me. Right, what we got in here? Uh... Alright, we can't do that yet. Fine. Fine. What else can we interact with? Is there anything up here? No? Okay. Go in here. Wow, okay. What happened to all of that cheese? Between this episode and the last episode, Wallace and Gromit have demolished all of that cheese. How do you both live like this? How do you live with, like, literally nothing at any given time in anywhere? How, how do they survive, honestly? Oh my god, there's no bread, okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Gromit, what the hell. Are we, are we looking and sounding okay, by the way? Hopefully everything is all good. What number, please? <laughs> that look. Mr. Wallace? Miss Sit from next door here. For the last 45 minutes, I've been trying to read the same page in my book. Now only to be interrupted by the incessant clatter that seems to be emanating from your cellar. I quite understand that an inventor is entitled to do his inventing in the privacy of his own home, but the banging, popping, creaking, and odd explosion really must stop. Noted. But what's that livestock? Honestly, Wallace, this has always been a respectable street. Yep. And then Wallace and Gromit moved in, yep. Oh. Oh, po Ed Poochie. Ed Poochie. Oh my god. You! You, you little terror! 
Oh my god. Gucci. Ah, did you let the dogs out? This nerdy whippet is is ravaging my roses. Came hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm. Feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? <laughs> I'm gonna dog of wisdom in. Ah. That's where the dastardly taka, 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 digger went underground. Look at my petunias, pulverized. Ba, 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 ba. Can I? Uh, what would be mm, what would be best here? Can I like? I eat something. No. Okay. Thank heavens the rascal didn't tear up my tulips. I don't know how I'd have coped. I was just about to dig a little home for that one before your friend came running into my garden. Hmm, okay. I know the whole town has been plagued by stray dogs, but you can't start handing out bones, Grummet. If you give a dog a bone, you have to expect he'll dig a hole. And when my garden is prime hole digging real estate, you must think twice. Horrifying. Just horrifying. I am horrified. <gasps> really? I wouldn't have gathered that. All right, we're going to piss off. You scoff. Uh, can I go down? Can I see what I'm doing over here, please? Can I just go into town? Oh, I can just piss off. Like, flat out piss off. All right. Major, hello. Morning, private. At ease, private, at ease. I'm sure by now you've received intelligence about the morale-raising ops this weekend. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensor used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember <laughs> being stationed in Algeria. And the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! Right, okay. Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever popular monkey toss competition, even a couscous eating contest. Which reminds me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> Excuse me? The pie eating contest. Oh, okay. Right. You must have seen the sign up sheet in town. Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. Can I have your biscuits, mate? Those are my biscuits, Private. And very delicious they are, too. Can't share them with you, though. For optimal nutritional efficiency, today's soldiers must stick to their rations. So, no wiki wikis for you, I'm afraid. So you're just sitting there oh, demolishing shape. biscuits. Okay, sure. Giddy. I told you, Private, you can't have any of my biscuits. It's for the good of the regiment. Mm. Mm. Oh, you can't have just the one. I could eat these mm. all day. <laughs> Is he going to fall asleep? It looked like he was gonna fall asleep a bit ago. Can I like can I just bonk him on the head and take them? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just Don't mind me, Major, I'm just gonna No, oh, okay. Fine. Fine, okay, that's fine. Alright, here we are. Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? Have you heard about the fundraiser? I've never been to a proper town fair before. Fair enough. We're on like the max setting. I weirdly feel like the lighting on this one's a bit weirder than usual. I think we're on. Okay. 
Okay. The lighting feels like a little bit off. I don't know what it is. Something doesn't feel quite right. I didn't talk to you about anything else. Oh, this should be grand. Hope to be seeing you and Mr. Wallace. Okay. Okay, got to help the hounds this weekend. Very good, even though they're attacking everyone. Is certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? Town's a buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, isn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. Sent me tumbling back oh, no. and brought me awning crashing down. Ooh, I gave him what for and no mistake. Yeah, I hope I hope so. Ah, you mean you, but you gob. That poor brute took fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you haven't got any friends and spend all day talking to the birds. <laughs> I'm just in need of some intelligent company. Wow. Anyway, it's high time to put together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Alright. So, I think British looked this up uh, previously, but um, I think the person that was, like, somebody involved with Firewatch wrote this episode. I could be wrong about that, but I seem to vaguely remember him saying that. I'm glad summit is finally being done to get these dogs off the streets. A proper fundraiser. Ooh, I love the fair. Fried treats, all sorts of sweets. I can't get enough. <laughs> That's for certain. Ooh, you. Ooh, you. Oh, here he is. It's the hello, fucking. Hello. Hello, hello. Albert Police Officer, hello, hello. Looking forward to this weekend's fair. Should be a riot. And all for a good cause to boot. Okay, do you have anything else to say, sir? Be seeing you at the fair. I must say I'm rather excited. Okay. Anyone in the prison? No? Okay. Oh god, okay. Well, that's cool. I wonder if we would have been able to get the Easter egg of the bee. If we, um... Or something like that, if we came here last time. Like, I, I don't know if we get, like, the, the previous antagonist in prison each time we come back or something. Maybe that's a little bit hopeful. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Are we looking for contenders for the pie eating contest? I'm glad summit is finally being done to get these dogs off the streets. A proper fundraiser. <laughs> oh. Hey. What you got there, Chuck? Chuck. Eating contest. Well, isn't that festive? Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie, but a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> you trouble enough appearing ladylike without a meat pie in your gob. Wow. Oh, do I? Tell that to Porsman. He's been quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. Oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? 
I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea. Hey. And I plan on winning in a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Let's see. Oh, just me and the major, is it? Hmm. He's no match for Winnie Gabberly. There you go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. There you go. All right, there's one. Can we get Dibbins involved? Ah, Winnie versus the Major, eh? Should be a sight to see. No, nothing else to say. Okay. Uh, do you want to be involved in it, sir? Mm, a fighting contest? I don't think that's for me. Okay. All right, let's go back. Ah, yes, the pie eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Pity, I'd love to meet another man. Toe to toe on the field of battle, mano a mano, feasting to the death until the best man wins. Edwina? There's nothing on there, though. Excuse me. She can out eat the likes of Excuse me. There was nothing on there. Oh, that's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. Um. There's just no way she can win. Major, there was nothing on there. She could never. <laughs> These blinking biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. They're going to fill me up. Private. Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them! If all I'm right. going to crush that woman, she's challenged the wrong man! <laughs> battle stations! Alright. Oh, look at him go. That is... Look at that man speed away, honestly. What a speed demon. So I think that was bugged out then. I think that something was wrong. I do feel like we've got a texture problem happening. So I might actually try and relaunch the game quickly. Your game. Is there a way to like save it? I feel like we've got a little bit of like a bug happening. Back are you? I hope you've a plan to get your little friend out of my garden. Can we eat some biscuits at him? And Tinky Wee may have their mischievous moments, but they knew better than to rummage in my roses. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a man of action around here. Good heavens, Gromit. Now you're just rewarding him for foul behavior. <laughs> um, can we just mess up our garden? We just keep eating biscuits to make him donk his head. Alright. Don't hate me, ma'am. Time to ruin another... Hey. Okay, in you go. Ah, you did it! Thank goodness! You've rid my garden of the nasty little rascal and with little damage. Now be sure it never happens again. I don't want to see any more of your canine companions on my property. Do you understand? Noted. Noted. Alright, well we got one of them inside. That's fine. Um, We just need to figure out what to do with the one that's left down there, I guess. Sure, okay. Uh, let's go down. Or not. Okay, let's, let's go around this way then. Can we, can we go around this way? No, okay. We're gonna go in here instead. Okay, got some sugar. 
Oh, we'll get some post. Oh, I wonder if that was meant to be a hint to something, like, for us to follow, but we ended up not needing it. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. That's fine. We'll pretend that wasn't there. Noted. Noted. Oh, okay. No. There's a... Okay, there's a cow in there. Yeah, okay. It's good, good shit. Good talk. Good talk. Oh, okay. No, we can't go upstairs either. Thank you, game. Does that mean Wallace has just, like, barricaded his chances of sleeping anywhere? Or, like, living anyway? It's just like... I was about to attempt the impression again. Resort to starvation, Gromit. Alright, we got a Bucci. He certainly does look like he loves to dig. Uh, careful with your bones around that one. Should I be doing this then? I suppose that lever does look a bit like an old bone, doesn't it? No wonder the crafty canine went and buried it. Give a dog a bone and into the ground it goes. It's their nature. Oh no. Did our fastening nut go missing? It holds the lever in place. It's a critical part of the apparatus, Gromit. Oh, this is no good, lad. That was my last number 12. What rotten luck. Aww. Aww. What's wrong with this dog? Hmm? Aww, Look poor at dog. That. He found our nut. Bliss. Fantastic, Grommy. Uh, perhaps I was a bit hard on him before. I didn't know the little one had a penchant for tinkering. Aww. Oh, this dog. He's just afraid. Heavens above, he's a positively petrified pooch. Poor little lad. We ought to call him Twitch. Okay. Twitch is the best boy. What a good dog. Alright. We've got to find a way to deal with you. Want some bimskits? Yeah, go on, you never be. No? Okay. None of that. Noted. Noted. Uh, Alright, let's make it blow up and then we can put the leak in there. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Edge. Alright. Whack that on it. Nope, okay. Just like that. He done it again. Good heavens, he's quick. He really does love that crank, doesn't he, Gromit? <laughs> okay, what else can we? There's got to be something down here we can interact with, then, right? Can I? Oh, I can, oh, can I paint it blue? Oh, Gromit, he doesn't like. He likes gold things. Completely cream cracked after all. Let's have a shifty. Okay, so Wallace is literally about to do the same thing we've done. We'll then drop this. Yeah, okay. Afraid it's still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I reckon we paint it, because I think he's got a thing for gold, right? I love gold. He's like gold member. I love gold. Schmuck and a pancake. So if we yeah, we've got to paint it blue. Hell yeah. And now he won't care about it. Like it's it's a different colour now. So now he just will not Any give a shit. The mischief makers. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, it's silver. Nah, he didn't want it. It's like nah, it's not made of gold anymore. I had enough of it. Fantastic, Gromit. The churn's back on. Well done. Ho ho ho. And there we have it, lad. Uncrossed a few crossed wires and our flavoring graver is as good as new. Perfect. Now we, we did the do. Back in business. Off we go, lads.
Go on then. Nothing can stop our Infini flavor ice cream from taking off now. Nothing at all. Mm. Nope. Bit late for the post day. Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, good heavens, no. The question is rather, how can I help you? I don't Name's like this muzzle. guy. Monty Muzzle. Philatelist, philosopher, philanthropist, and purveyor of fairground amusement. I hope by now you've heard about Monty Muzzle's Save the Dogs fundraiser fair to be held this weekend. Oh, uh, yes, we have. Uh, Gromit and I were just... Oh, uh... glad to hear it. I was deeply saddened to hear of your recent tragedy. And I'm making it my duty as a dedicated and devoted dog lover to help you all raise the necessary funds to repair your canine shelter. Imagine all those precious animals out on the streets. A tragedy. What a shame for all those dogs. But Gromit and I might have the perfect contribution for the fair. We were just putting the finishing touches on our patent pending Infini flavor ice cream machine. Ice cream, you say? Ooh, who doesn't love ice cream? The creamy coldness, the satisfying sweetness, the profit margins. <laughs> this and guy, I hate him. machine has custom flavor technology. Mm. Yeah. Its flavor scanner extracts taste molecules from any sample provided. We're able to make limitless varieties to suit any customer. We can make My, it taste like dishwater, Gromit. Impressive. Oh, by heck, Mr. Wallace. I know a good money-making opportunity when I see it. What do you say to this? With my financial firepower and your unique ice cream maker, we could put an Infini flavor retail outlet on every beachfront from Blackpool to Bognor Regis. The wow. world will be your knickerbocker glory. Franchising. Do you hear that, lad? We could be ice cream barons. If you bring your invention to the fair and manage to make a hefty contribution for this most needed, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, dog shelter. It's a deal. Mm, I don't like that. That's a bit sus. Excited. Oh, our in-house creamery assures us peak freshness. Speaking of the dogs, Gromit and I have come across three little lads who need new lodgings. Well, look at that. Aren't they the most precious things you've ever seen? My charity begins now, and I've got the perfect home for them. Yeah, quick-looking devils, too. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Aww. Willard. Walk is... Willard? Oh, no. Come no. On, you. Your new home awaits. No, not Twitch. Keep him here. Off they go, lad. Uh, say goodbye. No, Twitch. Twitch is the best boy. Uh, keep him. Uh, keep him, please. Be seeing you and your contraption at the fair. Oh, he can have it. Uh, be sure to bring your wallet. Hmm, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monty Muzzle's fundraiser fair. It fair warms my heart to see so many charitable souls here today. So let me warm yours by selling you a handful of tickets, available for a nominal fee, the proceeds of which will put a smile on the face of a homeless and abandoned puppy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, them tickets is good for every attraction. You can fry your favorite food, take on a chicken in a game of wits, or ride the mighty muzzler. Every penny goes to charity, every ticket, in short, will wag a tail. I say, okay, boy, okay. This a thrill and such a noble cause, rebuilding a shelter for your canine companions. Hmm, okay. I don't know if I trust oh, this. Your new chum must have dropped his toy in excitement. I bet the little fella's having a grand day out. Probably never been to a fair before. We'll take the toy. Or oh. 
Hey, that must be the remains of one of the flies that was blowing around this morning. Can't abide litter, so I tore it up and offered it as slips of paper to the punters. Save the dogs. Oh no. Is this guy using the dogs? What an Here asshole. Some tickets, lad. Go and find your friends and have some fun. <laughs> Alright. Bye, Wallace. Thank you for you fancy a comb, being... Gromit? See a curry or a cone. Isn't a fair grand, Gromit. Mr. Muzzles put on quite a show, and the Infini flavors a real crowd pleaser. We're gonna get that dog shelter rebuilt in no time. Okay. Make whatever you like, lad. Can we make it taste like rabbit? Ought to keep that thing away from the Infini flavor scanner. You'll end up with a tongue full of dusty bunnies. Is that the only thing we have? Okay. Yeah. Well, there goes the, <laughs> the major. Alright, chicken. Can we outsmart a chicken? Or are you smarter than a chicken? Alright, why not? Oh god, okay, I'm gonna suck at this. Ah shit, I've lost. <laughs> yeah, he's won. Hmm. Okay, is there a way of doing this? I'm not smarter than a chicken. That's what I'm learning today. Shit, why did I do that? That was dumb. Alright. This is it. This is my new obsession. We're gonna beat this fucking chicken. Feeding time for one of my golden geese. Oh, another loss, eh? Oh, I'm sure you'll win eventually. Hmm. Come back to that. At the moment, though, I'm not. I'm not smarter than the chicken. Can I find the right plumbing words? Ah, oh, just look at her, right around that monkey muzzle's booth of accomplishments. She's smitten. She is by him. Disgusting. Makes me so angry, I could blow the top! Ooh, I'm <laughs> that panned to camera. I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. <laughs> Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. The way you want, Mutt. Can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, that's what Miss Flit will be getting. I'm composing her a poem. Near finished too, except for the last line. Very nice. Got the whole thing memorized, even. I just cannot write the ending. Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest law. Wow. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. <laughs> your Fucking hell. Are sturdy. Your Fucking hell. Is bold. Ugh, I've got nothing. 
Look at me. Turn to a dog. Bah, good crazy yarn, McBiscuit. Now, moggy off and let a man work. Uh, presents aren't a bad way to show a woman your sensitive side. Well, that one's downright faulty. Right now, I'll stick to my poem, thanks. All right. Wisdom from the other side. Go on, then. What's it going to say? We get a better one. It just smells of black pudding. All right, sure. We go. There's a chicken round here, right? Is the chicken part of this? All right, yeah. Create a clairvoyant codfish. Let's see what you have to see. Oh god, okay. Yeah, the chicken's doing it. Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish! He's been caught. Been caught out. Alright. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Your future smells of a slippery penguin, scurvy, an abandoned puppy, no, black pudding, the common cold, a manky goat, something old, patch of mold, pirate's gold. Your goiter, <laughs> oh no. Scotland. Let's try that. I have no idea, honestly. Yeah, what a load of nonsense. Your home, your style. Your hair. Your hair smells of scurvy. <laughs> something old <laughs> perhaps this useless box of tricks might be on to summer after all felicity does have a half decent mop but she box my ears when i finish my poem with this rubbish okay hair Smells of a patch of mold. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps this useless box of tricks might be onto summer after all. Felicity does have a half decent mop, but she box my ears when I finish my poem with this rubbish. Okay. What smells of then? Could be mistaken for pirate's gold. That's kind of good. Kinda. Let's see if this fortune's got any that work? for my poem. Oh god. 
Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Wow, that worked, okay? Sure. That's no half bad, that is. I just work. I'm a blinking genius, I am! No need for these rotten lines! I've got a perfect one right here! Alright. Help. Here we go. He's gonna shoot his shot. Oh, hello, Duncan. Good luck, sir. You look ravishing today. Why, thank you, Duncan. In fact, I've written you a poem in honor of your astounding beauty. What? You've written a poem? Every last word. Really? Well, let's hear it then. <clears throat> Dearest Felicity. Your eyes are as deep as the murkiest loch. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy, your bearing is bold, and your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I, I don't know what to say. This is where she slaps him. <laughs> I did. Oh, Duncan, who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to detail? Yeah, all him, Aye. definitely. My rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. Caring and loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long if my nose isn't mistaken. Oh, that's just my unique musk. Ugh. Let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes. Well then. Well, that just happened. Help, though. We've got another... Okay. Save the dogs, help. Um, right, he comes around to feed them, doesn't he? Can I actually win this as I am? Or do I need to rig it somehow? Okay, so no one can win from this, right? Can I have some crackers, lad? <laughs> British, welcome in. How are you doing, sir? Uh, yeah, no one can win from this, right? Hmm. All right, I suspect foul play with that one. That around the shit at noughts and crosses. Mrs. Tweedy wouldn't like that chicken, that is true. Will it fry? What a great game. Welcome back to Will It Philip J. Fry. Is there something to do do with that? Okay, maybe not. Foul play. Oh, I did even <laughs> very good. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Foul play, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Hundred fourteen, hundred fifteen. Definitely meant to do that. Hmm. Let's see. Count this row across. Assume that the jar is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Can't be certain. Okay. I wonder what fantastic treasure awaits the person who nails this guest spot on. Okay, what could it be? Yeah. I've been keeping my tallies on the back of this flyer for hours, Drummond. It's not leaving my sight until I've a grand prize in my hands. 
All right. Look at them all. Heaven knows how many there are in there. Yeah, I'm not too sure, mate. Don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yeah, you have a go. What if we go with like something kind of meme? -y? What's like a, a meme number? What if it's 420? Shit, I went past it. Alright, Gromit. Seems as good a guess as any. 420. Oh, crumbs. Well, good try anyway, I suppose. Is there no way of knowing? 194, 195, 190. Oh, father, I've lost count now. <laughs> Hello, Gromit. I'm sorry, I'm just ever so keen to win the grand prize. Normally, I'm very skilled at counting produce in his shop, so I reckon this booth is my best chance of success. I've entered 12 guesses already, and I know it's for charity and all, but these tickets don't come cheap. Back to counting, if you don't mind. All right. Not four twenty. Have a little guess. Don't think a little deep. Uh, what else could it be? <laughs> Why not? Right from it. Seems as good a guess as any. No, okay. Oh, this is most discombobulating. Thanks for the guess, though, Gromit. We'll get it right eventually. All right. This I'm... makes no sense. Okay. My happy childhood. Maybe each of the hints is going to be in here somewhere. Right, fish and chips. Look at him, look at this prey. Fish and chips, your lifelong favourite. Right, okay. What a load of... What a load of shit. <laughs> Early heroics. Oh my god. My darlings, please help. Please. Tally ho. Jesus Christ. This is a bunch of bullshit. Or perish trying. Fuck off, did he do that? This fucking measly prick. No way. He didn't save them before they drove off the edge. He wouldn't have caught up with them in time. I refuse to believe it, this fucking asshole. That guy's an asshole. My life's calling, yes. Oh, my fish and chip shop burned down and Mumsy died. Tragedy. Oh, I had to sign the will and get all of the money and oh, it was awful. I hate being born into money as a posh prick. But life's a bitch. And therefore, oh, a will away a plan, live, laugh, love, or whatever the fuck it is, and then I made all my money, and I became a rich ponce. The end. And then he went around the world scamming people.
What a dickhead. Prick. Have a pie to enter, do you? Give it here. You won't get to it in due time. Quite the turnout of entries I've got. Bound to find a master of ceremonies in here somewhere. Wait, what is this? This is coming along nicely. Much more than I had anticipated from a bunch of provincial paupers. Oh, those dogs will be saved in no time. <laughs> this guy is an asshole. I doubt you're making a direct charitable deposit. So why don't you go and nose about elsewhere? Hmm, yeah, that's it. Give him the sauce eyes. Give that boy the sauce eyes. Strawberry rhubarb with cream. Uh, not a terrible texture, but a horrendous pie. Oh, God. Strawberry rhubarb reminds me of me Auntie Mildred. What an honorable old shrew she was, always force feeding me with her horrid confectionery disasters. Oh, God. What a fucking first what world problem. Memories. What a prick, honestly. This guy can fucking suck one. No use sniffing about for a competitive edge. These pies are all absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Didn't take you for the cheating sort. Willing to do anything to get ahead, are you? You'd cheat a little old lady out of a baking contest just to win your five minutes of fame as this afternoon's master of ceremonies. Then what are you doing, nosing about these entries? Keep to your own entry. But knowing what you filthy creatures are prepared to wolf down, I can't imagine you've much of a discerning palate. Wow. Enemy down! What a prick, honestly. I hope we ignore him. That's it. Right, can we have a look about? Hey there, you meddling mutt. What are you doing up on this stage? Get down at once. I'm the only one loud up on stage. The only other person loud allowed up on stage. to support themselves on my stage is the master of ceremonies of the grand pie-eating contest. And somehow I don't think with your limited canine brain Rude. you'll be able to create a pie deliciously mouth-watering enough to win the bake-off and receive that honour. So if you don't mind, Sling your blinking hook. Me what a and twat. the master of ceremonies. I.e. not you, big ears. What a bastard. I hope he chokes on that pie, honestly. Right, what do we have? Do we have like a... Uh... No, we only have the bunny. We bunny. Alright, what can we... I feel like there's something we must be able to do. Can we interact with him at all? Like me days in the RAF, biggest thrill I've had in years! <laughs> okay. Don't leave your fate to chance. Can I get a fortune good? Buy in bulk. Buy in bulk, what a prick it. What a prick. Nope. Not working anymore. There go our tickets, what a scam. What a scam. At least, we, uh, at least we have unlimited tickets. Alright, I've got to keep trying this. I've got to beat this fucking chicken. Okay, there's got to be something I can do here. Surely there's something I can do. Leaving time for one of my golden geese. Oh, another loss, eh? Oh, I'm sure you'll win eventually. <laughs> okay, so it's rigged. Maybe that's a hint that that's rigged. 
Well, let's see if anything to say. I was planning to donate just the profits from our Infinity Flavor Enterprise to the shelter, but Mr. Muzzle convinced me to hand over all our takings. As he says, a genuine philanthropist gives till it hurts. What a dick. Do not fall for his scams, Wallace, you forehead. How do you make any money? No wonder our fridge is empty. There must be several hundred bubblegum balls in there. I saw Mr. Muzzle downtown with a bag of them the size of a blinking elephant. Mmm, okay. I don't know what that is, but it smells like it could contaminate the entire fairground. Kindly remove it immediately. How rude, you bastard. Alright. <laughs> what can we actually do with that information, though? I feel like there's not a lot else we can do with that info. Okay. I look at the chicken itself without like challenging it. No, okay. The all-seeing all eye. I don't want to do it, but can I do this? No, okay, good. Can I just have an ice cream, Wallace? Can I just can I have something? Give me an ice cream. The Infinity Flavors open for business. Is there anything you'd like to turn into a custom cone? <laughs> go ahead. See what others have tried and then go bake yourself your own pile of rubbish. Oh, yuck. With no originality. I yearn to be transported with flavor. What a dickhead. Alright. Is there something that I'm like... Oh, wait a minute, hang on. No, okay. I go on here. That's not terrifying at all. Yeah. Yeah, Gromit hates it. Good. Good. This is everything we need to know about this place. Yeah. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I throw the rabbit at him, maybe. Can't be bothered with that, private. A man must enjoy his rest and recreation time. <laughs> okay, what's like? I feel like there's got to be a hint here. There's got to be something really, really obvious. I would never be able to keep count of all this candy if it weren't for this spare bit of parchment Mr. Wallace gave me. Who would have thought a discarded piece of flyer would be so useful? Uh, what could it be? I don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Here, you have a go. No getting in there to count them, that's for sure. I've already tried. Mr. Muzzle weren't none too happy. Hmm. Say like seven hundred, I honestly don't know. Fuck okay, it, I'm just pissing about at this point. 
All right, from it. Seems as good a guess as any. What could it be? No. I thought we had it that time. Might be best to go for a walk round the town and clear your head before giving it another go. Blam! Blam! <laughs> What could the other things be, though? This is goldfish related, which I don't think it would be. Can I leave and come back? Do I have to be here? Oh, the town. That's a good hint. I didn't know that we could come here. There you are, you goochie goos, you! Ah, the missus says I need more mates, does she? Well, I've got the birds in sky and bugs on sill to keep me company. You won't find me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. Here, yeah, birdie. Come to Papa Gabbily. All right, I'm going to nick all of that. Thank you for that PNG texture of seed. I'll, I'll be oinking that. Go, Thank you. Go. Here, pigeon. Over here. Yeah, I'll be oinking that. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. You saw nothing. Hello, Chuck. Looks like the fair's in full swing. I'll be popping over later to take part in the big contest. I'll have the Major quaking in his boots, I will. Hey. Anything else we can interact with? Doesn't look like it. We've got some seeds. Anything in the bin? Oh, 300. There are 300 in there. Okay. Ah, but 300 minus how many? 300, 1, 2. 300 minus 8. So that is uh, 292. Right? 292, 292, 292. I will forget. 292, 292. 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, 292, Congratulations! You are the winner of a grand and fantabulous prize. I heck, we did it! Fantastic! We won, Gromit! Hell yeah. Congratulations, sir. Very well done. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Muzzle. You're quite a bit of brain power it did. So, <laughs> no one, no one cares about Gromit. Prize, then, Mr. Muzzle. I must say, I can't wait to see what I've won. Yes, Poor well, lad. Um, yeah, just as it's always better to give than receive, um, I say the satisfaction of your triumph, plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you wow, made towards our noble cause, our prizes in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Panier? Chuck. Well, uh, they're all very well, but I thought prizes that last a lifetime. Up here, and in here. But, but, but the sign says... Oh, quit bellyaching your big girl's blouse. <laughs> oh, um, it, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman such as yourself. Here, have a blinking bubblegum bubble. Wow. But, but... Oh, all right. And one for the mutt as well. Wow, okay. What a dickhead, honestly. What a prick. Inside. Okay. Save the dogs, help inside. What does the rest of the poster say? There's something else, all right? The events for charity, but I spent all of my tickets for this one blooming ball of bubblegum. Yeah, this poor lads, he got done in. Alright. Take care. Take care, sir. Take care. Alright, we're gonna go back to town. Three balloons. What a weird sign. I'll be having them then. I assume that that means that they can pop quite easily. 
Let's see here. Okay, anything new? Gavily's there. Where's this lad? Hello. Hello. Having a good time at the fair, at least. Sort of. Should have been there myself, but that sergeant's got me out on patrol. Not that much doing in town. Still, better get on. I'm on duty. Yep, good. Thanks for. Yep. Nora, not sure how much more of this I can stand. Mr. Panea said that there's even a ride, a proper ride, and here I am stuck on blinking duty all day. Not blooming fair, it's not. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Lost me head there for a moment. I forgot I were on duty. Mm -hmm. Let's yep. get back to work. Yeah, I believe you, sir. I mean, you could pretend to be working. Go have a good time. Maybe. Maybe. Right, what does the gumball do? Can we deep fry that or something? We do have a gumball. Oh, we can give the, the chicken the fucking thing, can't we? Chicken, have feed. Go on. Have feed, you bastard. Okay. Did I beans that by doing that. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. Ah, shit, yeah, you could have just won. Oopsie whoopsie. Can I. Do I still have the feed? I do have the bird seed still. Okay. So if we guarantee no that he's going for the middle one, what benefit do we have to us doing like that? If there is one at all. Wait, what? How did I get done there? Am I stupid? Did I miss something? Maybe he had two. I just didn't notice. Oh, you can like bait him. Okay, I see. Okay. That feels kind of, kind of unfair for him, but all right. Uh, we'll just do that. Wow, this is a really well-trained chicken. Good stuff. All right, well we got a goldfish. Very cool. Very cool. Um, does that mean we've got pretty much everything now from like the the various stools? I think we do. Wisdom from my fucking bungle. I don't know. He's just, he's just a prick. Alright, put the seeds in. What happens? Okay. What about bubble gum? Wow, the fact it uses your tickets and then tells you bog off. Awful, honestly. At least you get your item back. At least we have unlimited tickets as well. Why do we whack a balloon in it? No? Okay. Fair. Fair. I respect it. Enemy down! It does highlight this here as being like something we shouldn't be able to interact with, but I think it just means this, like. Imagine your life with less strife. Alright, what about this? 
looks distinctly crunchy, lad. Still, could be an interesting flavour. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Okay. With a bird seed ice cream. Or a gumball ice cream. This will definitely be good. That could be a confectionery delight and chewy to boot. Yeah, I reckon that'll be a good one actually. Alright, yeah. Good, good, yeah. Gumball ice cream. Do we not keep the other ones? Okay. <laughs> but goldfish. Uh, I don't think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean. Fish flavored ice cream? Who ever heard of such a thing? Unless you uh, haven't made a new feline friend, have you, per chance? <laughs> no. Oh, well, uh, no. yes then. Uh, one fish flavored ice cream coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. I wonder if he'd like it, because he had a whole thing about, oh, I like fish and chips in my, my Tory upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> no politics. No politics. Ignore me. Ignore me. Fish flavored ice cream. Sure. Alright, let's um... Disgusting. Maybe you'd like this, honestly. Maybe you'd like it. We dollop one of these on there. Features. I told you to stay off my perishing stage. Now, the master of ceremonies of the fighting contest can wander up and down the stage as he likes, but I'm afraid you go up. Right. I didn't want to do that anyway. I wanted to put an ice cream on the thing. Did I give him an ice cream? Put in the cart before the horse, are we? I do prefer the entries to have a side of cream, but usually the entry comes first. But here, here, here let me have it. It's fish flavoured, he likes mm. fish. Mm. Most intriguing. Is this uh, fish? Mm. You were going to try to feed me fish flavoured ice cream. Why, what, what, what a unique idea. Is there any chance of you pairing this with something equally stirring? You might have a shot at uh, the title. I'll keep this here, and you can add your pie when you've got it. Does that mean I did good? Does that mean I, I did good? The pie baking contest. I'm sure a display of your culinary skills would wow the judges. You can always trot off home for a spell to whip up an entry. I'm sure your friends won't mind. Can we go home? Okay, let's fucking go home then. See you later, asshole. I don't really fancy chewing gum. We're making that sympathy ice cream. Free balloon. I wonder. What can we do at home, I guess, is the thing. Can we actually go back? Can, okay. Um Oh we can bake a pie, okay. Uh sure. Uh potato pie with ice cream. Doesn't he like fucking fish and chips? So if we do a potato pie. And then we do a side order of fish. Isn't he actually going to really like that? I guarantee that'll actually be like a good shout. Alright. So we have the, the side order of fish with potato, fish and chips. Right? 
that was that, that weird fucking thing was all about. Let's give that a go. Let's see if that does something. What is this when it's at home? Oh, rhubarb with a hint of dirt and diesel. Ugh. All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there, there is uh, something here that isn't immediately foul. A faint hint of a taste of something that sparks, uh, dare I say, a not totally unpleasant memory. It's the unmistakable taste of mushy potato, which, in and of itself, is delicate and unique. Hmm. Yeah, well, it, it's not quite there yet. So, take it back, and perhaps you can improve. Although, as a near canine pie maker, I imagine that was no doubt your best attempt. <laughs> An accident, perhaps. And also, oh, no cream. No a la mode, even. Uh, clearly not a serious entry, after all. But didn't I give you... I gave you a, a pie with... I gave you the cream before, though. Can I give you the pie with the cream? Why not? I take it back? Why not? I, what? What? Why can't I do that? I, I'm legitimately confused at why I can't do that. Alright. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, this flavour does not spark an immediate. So I can improve it, is that what I'm hearing? Alright, fine. Now, where? Uh... Hello, I do Having like. A grand wow, nice one, Wallace. Pie and ice cream, two great tastes. Uh, that should work out splendidly. It literally looks like shit, but fine. Like it. Blam, blam. <laughs> no, okay. Okay, that's not what we're meant to do. Does that mean we have a winner for the cream? We just need to make a good pie. Right, potato, fine. Okay. Not a potato pie, even though you like fish and chips, that's fine. Um, we, wait, okay, what was, let's have a look at his fucking, like, flashback machine. What, what did he like? Happy childhood memories. I was convinced the fish and chips thing was actually going to work, but okay. Fish and chips, yeah. Why doesn't this work? I don't understand. Right, what a load of shit. We made you potato pie, and this is how we- Oh, we deep fry it! I just- okay, that's it. We deep fry it, we deep fry it. I forgot this thing was over here, we deep fry the pie. Okay, 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 we're getting somewhere. Now it will come out like a... 
That's like the full full deal. Right, what did it come out as? Crisp pie. So, so we have fish ice cream and crisp pie. Sure. Ooh, that's just offensive, that is. Ah, this looks like a complete entry. The moment of truth arrives. Why, uh, this is, uh, yes, yes, resplendent. I've never tasted a pie quite like this. A savoury crust, enhanced by a one-of-a-kind flavour, if I am not mistaken, of lightly battered cod. Oh, yes. Your entry triggers deep, unhappy memories. Oh. I can see myself as a slip of a lad behind the counter in a mother's chippy. I'm the happiest lad there's ever been, eating complimentary portions of freshly fried North Sea cod and chips. Stupendous! How you did it, dog, I'll never know. But you've won. Congratulations. You're the first beast to become the master of ceremonies of the pie-eating contest. Okay, very good. I'll be meeting you on stage then. Time to get this pie-eating contest underway. I'm amazed that worked, to be honest. That's literally insane, but fine. Fucking fish ice cream and a deep-fried potato pie. Sure. Why not? That literally it sounds like an English, an English meal anyway, honestly. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Oh god, okay, here we Our go. Our first order of business is to celebrate this fine figure of a dog as winner of the pie baking contest. That's a boy, Chuck. I knew you could do it. Hey, hey. Eat fry the pie. Where and are we, Scotland? <laughs> Maybe. Here will preside as master of ceremonies of the pie eating contest to commence shortly. I'm here. The Major doesn't stand a chance. Ha! I once ate a kidney pie the size of a Shetland pony, and I had room for dessert and coffee. Your starter's pistol, doggo. Can I shoot you with it? And now, I'd just like to say a few words. Where are me blinking notes? Mm, you were up here just a minute ago. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, um... It's not every day that tragedy strikes a helpless town like this. But I'm most honoured to be here in your moments of need to help you all collect enough funds to rebuild the orphanage. And uh, that is uh, the orphanage for lost dogs. And I'm delighted to say that I haven't seen such an outpouring of charitable giving among fair goers since, well, since, um, uh, uh, since uh, uh, the great Lancashire earthquake of, uh, oh, let me see now, uh, uh, some, uh, yes, some years ago. Wow. I don't remember hearing about that. Yeah, I don't oh, either. dreadful it was. Teapots tossed from their cozies. Sheep shaken right out of their fleeces. Most dreadful indeed. So, keep up the good work here today. And be sure to spend, spend, spend at our wonderful attractions, as it's all in such a very, very good cause. Mm -hmm. Now, without further ado, uh, Colonel Crumbs and uh, Mrs. Gobbledygook uh, will go head to head in the pie eating contest. Now, Mutt, pull the trigger. Wow. Good stuff. Save the dogs. Help inside Muzzler. So it's inside the um. It's in there. Sure. Okay. Is there a way we can get inside? Can we? Can we go around? Maybe. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Sir? 
we've been spotted. Oh no. Bye, it's been a busy week. Just one good deed after another. First, I uh, takes in three homeless hounds, then helps a town. Do no. gooders cough up the cash for a noble cause. <laughs> yeah. And now I've trapped me a tricksy little trespasser. Now listen here, mutt. I built this fair up from the sweat of me brow and a pile of scrap. And if you think I'm gonna let a molly coddled mongrel chuck a spanner in the works, you don't know Monty Muzzle. Aye. Wow. Your time on wheel comes soon enough. And being man's best friend, you wouldn't want to stop the ride and disappoint your punters now, would you? But until it's your turn, you can blinking well stay put. Wow. What a dickhead. Oh, and don't start whining and yelping for help. You'll have my security system to deal with if you don't keep the noise down. Oh, it's just a chicken. Let's fuck it up. Right? Alright, well this is good. Bromit's now in prison. Very cool. How you doing, dog? I love... <laughs> Why can't Gromit just walk around like this all of the time? I fucking love it. <laughs> it's so weird. Are you up, Chuck? How long you been in here? You, 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 you're pissing that pot? What are you doing? What are you doing? Lad? Lad, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing, lad? Just happy to be here, that guy. is just like, mm. Still here. Uh oh. What is it? What's going on in here? Up to something in here, are we? Down, mutt. It's not your dinner time yet. Hmm. Seems to have been a false alarm. But I'll be back in here at the drop of a hat. If there's any monkey business. Noted. Alright, I reckon we gotta get that dog to try and yoink. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. No, okay. Nothing changed. Down. Okay. What do we have on us that we can use? Can I throw that anywhere? Oh. Literally just working through it all now, yeah. Nope, oh, okay. Fine. Starting pistol. That's right, okay, and now we can, we can do this to be like the dog's dead. Help, help the dog, please. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? Oh, another blinking dead dog. Another one. The workshire whelp hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Get off me, you filthy beast! That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. No more out of you. But he got the key, hell yeah. Good job. What a good Bucci. Nope, we gotta trade something, okay. Fair, I respect that. I just shoot him. <laughs> Sorry, dog. I need that key. <laughs> Nothing personal, Chuck. Alright, game saved. I'm worried now that we're gonna lose progress, though, if we. because the chicken's still there, right?
Oh god, it's... <gasps> Preston's dog food. It's the chick... Uh, not the chicken run, the, um, the Sean... Uh, the close shave dog, right? We go up the ladder. I'm amazed that they've not, like, put the security... security thing yet. Will that keep them entertained for a while, or is that like, is that them done? Still have bird seed in our inventory. No, okay, so we should be all good to go. That should be that distracted now, that's fine. What else is up here? Cyber dog. It was okay when it was just the sheep rustling. Let me out. You're not turning me into dog meat. Yeah. Honestly, though, that film, very good. The scariest of the lot, though, I think. <gasps> oh no, it's Twitch. <gasps> Twitch is a good boy. Hello, Twitch. I hope we adopt Twitch after this, honestly. Twitch is the best boy. Right, we've got to get him out. We've got to get him out. Nah, different one. Ah, shit, okay. Uh, is there anything in here? Noted. Noted. What we're also learning from this is chickens will literally do anything you tell them to do. Right, uh... Oi! We're slowing down already! Muscle! Your blinking ride's not fit for service! Blinking engine must have, uh, um... Hey. Ah. There we go. Alright, we've got another dog taking over. They're doing their bit. Where's this dog tunneling to, do we know? Okay, what else can we do while we're here? Fortune cookie. What can we actually do this? Do with this? No, okay. Oh, can we like screw up the mechanism? The gumball? Can we feed? I feel like there's got to be something we can do with the uh, the fortune cookie. I feel like we've got to throw it outside or something maybe? Like, if we can find a way to get this open... Shit, do I need to get the wrench back? I might have needed to yoink the wrench and use it before I gave it to the dog. Fuck. Uh, there's some grease here as well. What would I need to grease up, though? Not the teddy... Is there anything else in here? No. Gumball. No. What about... E? What about the fortune cookie? No, that's the key. 
Das freuen. No, okay. Right, I'm gonna yoink this for a minute. Stay there. Alright. Did we lose all of our items? Didn't we have like a ton of things on us? What happened to the balloon we had? Didn't we have a balloon at one point? Okay, we need the wrench for upstairs though. Pretty sure of that. Okay, sure. I reckon we have to throw something through there. Maybe like another... Or maybe Twitch has something to do with it? Okay. I'm not sure what, but Twitch has something to do with it. Okay. Maybe we have to grease Twitch up? I don't know. I honestly don't know here. No, okay. No, okay. Alright. What does this lad want? Do you want a gumball? Do you want a toy? Do you want an ice cream? You want a gi? No. Sure you don't want the wrench back? Okay. I'll take another fortune cookie, why not? I wonder if I can throw this through the, uh... The thing then, maybe. Is there really nothing I can do with that? That feels kind of weird. Maybe it's literally just a way of getting to the chicken. Maybe I have to yeet a fortune cookie through here. No, okay. No, okay. Just testing the water. What else can I interact with up here? No. A lot of this is just trial and error, so bear with me. No. Okay. Alright, let's go down. What else can we actually interact with? Alright. Can we really not do anything with that? That feels kind of weird. To get into any of these other cells. Oh, why? Okay. Why? Why didn't I think of? Okay. Cool. What if we grease you? No. What if we grease... Maybe if we grease you through the bars? Okay. It was that easy. Okay, never mind. Ugh. Excuse me, sorry, I just had to do a sneeze. Can I not give you that? Uh... 
Oh. He tunneled there, though. It means he has, like, a way to get through. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <gasps> and Twitch is here. Hello, Twitch. Hello, Twitch. You're my friend. It's okay. We got grease. We got to use the grease grommet. We've forgotten the grease grommet. Should we give him the teddy? Oh, but I want to give him the teddy. Right. Got a greasy boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He looks so angry about that as well. He's like, yeah, nah. That ain't it. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Is this now where we play as... Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. Uh, no, well, uh, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. Aw. I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. E easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Thinking more. You mean poor Gromit's inside the ride? What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Hell yeah. the muzzle to shut down his ride. Thank God Wallace is actually fucking cognitive in this episode. And like, oh my God, everything's not okay. Oh, okay, the officer is oh, yes, no longer working. Yeah. <laughs> what a great police officer, honestly. Blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. Says he's carrying out an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? No, oh, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the, uh, um, <laughs> Uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. Uh, had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Hmm. One last bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbly. Right, can we... What can we interact with here? Can I have a gum drop? Looks as if someone's already won. All right. Hello, Duncan. Miss Flit. What do you use, right, Wallace? Uh, well, I, I don't know how to say this, but... Ah, uh... oh, come on. Don't be it. Dunk, let the poor man speak. I think Mr. Muzzle has dognapped Gromit. Dognapped? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You mean to tell me the old Monty Muzzle, the charitable dog lover, and second most sensitive, caring man of the fair has swept your mutt? Ha! No, that's right. He ain't wrong, though. Oh, uh, yes, I know it sounds ridiculous. I know Wallace is usually the delusional. Wallace, it's not very charitable of you to be spreading rumours like that. Oh, uh, 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 well, never mind then. <laughs> Well, good try, Wallace. It was worth an effort. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabberly. Are they eating the crust as well? And I'm relishing every bite. Uh, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, he's dying. We'll see about that, Mr. Wallace. Would you mind bringing Kinnear this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Yep. Right. -o. That's all right. Excuse me, Mr. Kinnear. Wallace, if you'd like a word, please come up on stage. The wood. Meat pies by dawn, and by heck, look at that crust fly! 
Excuse me, Penny. Mrs. Gobbly wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <coughs> Testing. One, two. One, two. All fairgoers are cordially invited to attend Mrs. Vinnie Gabbley's victory celebrations. Wow. Later this evening She's fucking shit talking. Look at this. Uh, that's everyone, <laughs> including Major Croc. So long as he's humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. Wow, got him. A scandalous suggestion. You'll regret the day you taunted a crumb. Haunted a crumb. Wow. Get fucked, honestly. Hello, Mr. Panea. I was wondering if from your elevated vantage point, well, you haven't seen Mr. Muzzle up to anything suspicious, have you? Suspicious? Oh, you mean like planning a secret surprise for the fairgoers? No, I can't say I have. But you never know what he's got up his sleeve. Uh, not exactly. I mean, anything unsavory. Up to no good. He did scam you Mr. earlier. <laughs> no, no, no. He may offer less than substantial prizes yep. for his attraction. Good, thank you for remembering. In the name of charity. Don't be ridiculous, Wallace. Oh, all right then. Thanks anyway. Well then, all right. We don't have many allies in this front, do we, Wallace? We do not have a lot of allies going. Alright, I reckon we should go to town. Let's see if there's anything we can... Can we get on this, actually? I'm going to be oh, talking to you. Uh, Mr. Muzzle? Uh, y yes, uh, Mr. Wallace. I uh, hope ice cream sales are going strong. Well, yes, the Infini flavors come into its own today. And uh, splendid, uh, splendid. Uh, and all that money, it's um, it's been uh, donated? Oh, yes. Uh, for the pups. For the pups? Mr. Wallace, if I can be straight with you for a moment. Of course, please. Uh, I'm afraid our little business arrangement isn't going to work out as I'd hoped. Given the current adverse climate... Uh, Dickhead, what an arsehole. technological advances are shifting landscape of the ice cream world, etc, etc, etc. I'm not going to be able to help you turn the infinite flavour into a global brand. Oh, uh, well, I, I quite understand, uh, Mr. Muzzle, but that's not what I was inquiring about. I was wondering if you'd seen my grommet. Uh, uh, who? Gromit, my dog. Oh, my dog. the dog. <laughs> Why would I have seen him? Uh, probably wandered off with a poodle or Pomeranian. You know what dogs are like. Uh, yes. Uh, never mind then. If you've lost your dog, hire a dog catcher, Mr. Wallace. Don't look to me. Why is this guy angry? What dickhead? Uh, I was wondering if I could uh, have a go on the ride. Uh, right oh, uh, but first you'll have to hop on the scale. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, going to have to wait until the constables finish though. Ah, uh, all right. That's fine. Now we go find something really heavy to stuff down our fucking boxes and we're we're good to go. Alright, Wallace, what do you need to get, buddy? You need to get a balloon? A, a balloon? Um, Always uh, good for a lift. Puts it under his armpit, keeps it there. Classic Wallace behaviour. Heavens above! Norbury Blue! Uh, no, Wallace. Mm. No, for fuck's Jeez. sake. Cheese. He's just gonna eat out of the fucking bin. What a monster, honestly. What an absolute animal. <laughs> for fuck's sake, Wallace. Excuse me. That was interesting. Didn't need to see that game, but thank you. 
Right, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it for stuff here. Is there anything I back? Get back to the fair and try and save from it. Well, what else can I do? I don't know if I can actually pick anything else up while I'm there, though, can I? Why is it so dark? What the hell? We just had an eclipse or something happen, like, mid-fair then. That was weird. Alright. Uh... Oh, this is no time for games. I need to shut down Muzzle's ride and save Gromit. Hmm. What do you think we can... The Infinity Blade has been a rip-roaring success, but I can't sell any more cones until I free Gromit. We get the picture, Wallace, but is there anything I can, like, take with me that's heavy? Chock full of donations. But Muzzle doesn't seem like such the dog lover now. Alright, I'm gonna try and... can I take these? Mm, looks like you and Mrs. Gabbley are about even in the count. Perhaps, but don't let your eyes deceive you. I've a commanding advantage. How's that, Major Crumb? My... fighting... spirit. And Mrs. Gabbley finishes yet another pie! Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, look at these. All right, keep them on us. But if we have the balloon, it's a clash of will that, titans, will that help? The maybe. Major versus the guzzling granny. I think I'd like a turn. Go ahead, yes. Scales first, though. Look at that. I've dropped a few pounds. See, you had to give the ride a bit of a patch job, eh, Mr. Muzzle? The muzzler seems a bit bumpy. She was damaged during a speedy disassembly a few weeks back. Had to pack her up in a hurry. <laughs> Yes, it's had to rush off to attend a tragedy in a cattery in the next town. Terrible business. But Monty Muzzle's philanthropy won through in the end. Yeah. Hey, can I go on the ride now, or what? Can I go on the ride? You mean you weigh every... Each and every one. And the action is now really heating up. Hey, that's not going to help shut down Muscle's ride. Well, what can we use for, though? We can't go back to the thing. There's trouble churning or Hey. Actually, I'd rather not. What are we meant to use them for, then? One last bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbley. Maybe you two would like to share a balloon? Oh, I don't go near balloons. They make my hair stand on end. Oh. All right. The lady says she does not want it. Uh, uh, right ho. Uh, message understood. Uh, well, uh, no. Well, no. Thank you for being up front, though, Wallace. It's fine. There's no point in that. No? Okay. Hmm. But it said that I could get on, right? The Can I just do it? The chopping champion continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the Major seems to have met his match in Vinny. But... I say, cooey, Constable Dibbins. Can't hear you. Carrying out a safety inspection of this ride's facilities. Woohoo! But DC Dibbins, I'd like to report a... Ah, uh, uh, oh, um... Missing canine report. 
Can't be interrupted, Wallace. Whee! Uh, no thanks. Throw these at him. Constable Tibbins. Woohoo! Unofficial police business, Wallace. Hmm. Yippee! Hey. Roman Gabbley now putting away pies as if they haven't eaten for a week. What else can we interact with? Can we go up here and interact with the And the munching Major Crow is making heavy What? Chock full of donations. It pointless. Not very so That's quite a few pies you've eaten, Mrs. Gabbley. Could have sworn there was more. Haven't really been keep Right, can I rig it for someone? Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? What oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these advertisers uh -oh. here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberley is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I, I think I might have been outpied by the enemy. Oh, no. It seems the Major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Only. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Ow. Yippee! Look at her go. She's still going. Down goes the Major. Out for the count. Attaboy, Mrs. Gabberly. Congratulations. Woohoo! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Veneers Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride. Yeah. You'll excuse me. Off he goes. Oh, there goes my hero. Put on five stone. Wow, that's a lot. That's a heckin' lot. Too heavy. Balderdash. I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limits, I'm afraid. I'll give him a balloon. Right. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest. And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit and work off some of that extra weight. What a prick, honestly. This guy can actually fucking... I hope he gets crushed by his fucking fairground. Where is he? Have this. Just two minutes walk from this fairground. A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Festive balloon. Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now. You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Wait, limit fast. Queue up. You'll be next. Smashing. It's about time. Time's up, Constable. Still carrying out the inspection, Major. Wait your turn. Okay, how do we get him to move? Uh. Gromit, I say, are you in there? What the fuck? What's Gromit? Ride is just too what the fuck just happened to Gromit? To escape through? Can we change to Gromit at all? We need to get the the sergeant to uh fucking get get a move on. 
Paneer's peculiar produce for all your favorite foodstuffs and some you probably never knew existed. All right, how do we uh, how do we do this then? When's Major Crumb's turn on the Mosla? Who knows? The bleeding constable's been up there for ages. How do we get him down? How's the weight, Major? It's only a matter of time before I'm fit to fly with the RAF once more. See, you had to give the rider. <laughs> yes, yes, had to. From sweet to savory, pickled to preserved, and fresh to frozen, Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Plus, we also sell. Umbrellas, beach balls, indoor barbecue equipment, and a full range of domestic fire extinguishers. Okay, how do we... Maybe I should take a minute and clear me head about how to rescue from it. A few of the attractions might have surprises. Okay. Alright, that sounds very careless, but fine. I don't think taking a fry break will help me find Gromit. Okay, at least you're honest. What about this? Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned Gromit. Not even one time have you done that. Oh, this is no time for games. I need to shut down Muzzle's ride and save Gromit. And remember, oh, can I you want, shout him out? Hello, Wallace. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. There you go. Duty calls. Yeah. Wahoo! Perfect. Here he goes. Time to break it. Go on, Mr. Crumb. Uh oh. It's gonna fucking explode. Oh, is he alright? Those poor dogs were trapped inside of that dreadful machine the Robert, entire time. Robert, are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. I'm up and away. Hi, what are you doing? What is that? It's Monty Muscle. Find our money. He's getting I'm away. Twitch. What a dickhead. He's kept Twitch. Oh no. Monty Muzzle stock is on the rise. He didn't get his money though. This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit. We don't do floats. What we do, do now. Well, there we go. We're oh, fucking flying sure apparently. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Exactly what I planned. But a oh, he did get the money. Oh, dickhead. A few quid. And one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? Wow. That's what I thought. Chickens are in on it. Of course they are. Wow, how do we have any control over this? <laughs> Foxy. Oh, Nick, your box of glory. <laughs> He's got a head start, lad. What is We've this? We've got to find a way to close the gap. Uh, right, we need to... Be something. We're going as fast as. Uh, churn. Without a new flavor scan, the Infini flavor defaults to vanilla. Right. What else do we have? Gumball. Uh, good thinking, lad. But that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. How much cream do we have? Is that what's making us fly at the moment? She's still operational even when she's airborne. Alright, that didn't work. Uh, bird seed? Still 
emotional even when she's up. All right, that's not it. What about serve? Hey, looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Bird seed ice cream, trying to win over the oh. enemy. Good thinking, lad. But that won't help us. We're gonna do the gumball one, right? Because it's sticky. So we've got to do that. Okay. All right. This is making sense. We're getting there. Uh, good thinking, lad. But that one. That's fine. We yeah. We get it. We get it. She's still operational even when she's at. But that's fine though. It has that done. We can now fire. That's that should be sticky, right? Oh, that was sticky. Don't worry, Gromit. That makes sense, though. I don't understand. Hmm, okay. What else can we do? Careful, Gromit. Those lead line tires are costly, and they weigh a ton. Alright, let's go on the roof. that in there. Okay. Oh, okay, so we don't mix it. Just, like, literally just fucking shoot one of the things. <laughs> shoot a gumball at them. No? Okay. Um... Why don't we churn? Why not? The crank needs to be in place. But what's the point of taking it out then? There's got to be a reason for us taking it out, right? Okay. Now yeah, fine, we'll go back up then. Okay, we put the stuff in there, so that's fine. We put that in there, so now will that like we churn this? Will this like mix it in? Oh, it's looking kind of pink now. Okay. Things are getting a bit sticky back there. Alright, okay, that works. That's good to know. So now if we fire it, it'll be more sticky, right? I feel like that should have worked before based on what we learned, but sure. Direct hit, lad. Hey! Now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Okay. Alright. Next up, we need to... Do some bird... Flavored, maybe something in here. If we put that in there, maybe now this might work. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Okay. else can we interact with? No time for... That badge doesn't have a whole plan. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Fine. Uh, what can we actually interact with? 
I just like shoot it some more. Just fire again. Mm, okay. Crikey, we're still not close enough to rescue Twitch. Right, what else can we do? Got to be something to do with like. Hmm. Okay. What else can we actually interact with here? We have that, 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 and that. A face only a mother could. Okay, what else can we actually... Hmm... Okay, fine. Not even if we do that. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Ooh, the Infinity Flavors ice cream making days are over till. Oh, do I need to clean it out? No time. That batch is gone. But what do I. What else can I physically do? Can I like... Put something else in here? What's the point of taking the crank out? I don't understand. There's gotta be a reason for it. I just li oh, hang on. The tires, the tires. Um, crank on the tires, right. Okay. Kind of with it. Kind of get it. So they're weighing us down. Right, okay. Ooh, now we've shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. The tires. Free lead line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but we've got to catch up. Going to land without any undercarriage. <sighs> we'll be fine. Yeah, it's not our problem. Knock up my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with a the wind at me back. <laughs> hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. Hey. Ah. Where do you think you're going with that? Eh, fine then. Let go. Escape me, a flea ridden friend. Talk about feeling peckish, they're famished. All right, so they can just like let go. We just shoot him. <laughs> Okay, no more of that. You're not taking my hard-earned charitable donations. He looks so unhinged, doesn't he? I think it's going to be all chewing gum. All right, okay. Come off it, runt. Okay. 
throw that at him. The chickens go for it. Easy, easy. You've already been fed today. Ow. Get away. Stay away. Now, listen, chickens. Good. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, well, at least he's rather pecking at his fingers. Alright, so now we need to serve. And then we pick him up. Good Poochie. Hey. Lucky grub, Gromit. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh no, this guy. Let's stomp his feet. Too many, need to stomp his feet. Stomp his feet, stomp his hands. Go on. They all died. Help, Gromit! Muzzle's mustache has gone flat. What the hell? Dog. Steady, Gromit. It looks dangerous. You could get your paws nipped, or worse. Don't lose that arm, Gromit. Nothing a little glue can't fix. Alright, can we now grab this? Careful, lad. I've got to save what I can. Uh, grab the money. Alright, this is fucking insane, but sure. This balloon's got no lift. The bounce has gone from its bungee. Alright, grab the money bag. Give that back right now. Gotcha. Oi, keep your paws off me money, you mutt. Steal from me. Monty Muzzle. That's not how it works, sunshine. The dogs land. Keep those. If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. Careful, I said. Now nah, fuck him. No! Money. Oh, my beautiful money! Help! We're still falling, lad! Yeah, how how long is this fall? Alright, here we go. The ground! Quick! We could do with some more air. It should hold us for just long enough. It hey. might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. Happened to many a bomber in the war. And oh shit, they found that. The poor defenseless puppy. <laughs> Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fairground felon still got our cash. He's due a soak in the mouth and a kick in the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, guys, you here they come. Beard. What on earth is that? It's a giant mustache. Ah, uh, I've seen bigger. <laughs> You're alive. Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh God, oh. what a callback. Good. I hope he. Excellent. Right through the roof into the cell. He belongs to be in there. Oh, with the dogs as well. Yeah, get him. Go on. Get him. These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gabley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, you misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. 
Oh, but he wants the animals though, right? He wanted the attention. Aww. That's cute. That little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Aw. Wallace! Twitch is the oh, best boy. That was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage, your... Selflessness, your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous mountain muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that... I uh... feel a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but I was uh -oh. wondering... With a bit of elbow I grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can have were... this up and running again by Christmas. Wallace, I... I have a proposal for oh, you. Oh, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> Wallace, oh, my yes, God. a proposal and a ring... Oh, how oh, shocking! I beg your pardon, Miss Flit. Oh, and so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flit, marry you, Wallace? Now nah, he's just trying to do his work. Pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honoured that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But. I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. Uh-oh. Rum. Muzzle. Brilliant. Brilliant. That was, honestly, that was a really good one. I actually had a lot of fun with that. The puzzles didn't feel too weird either. A lot of it felt sort of, like, self-explanatory. I think the weirdest one we've had to do so far is the last one. So I think last, the last one was probably my least favourite, but the first one was pretty good, this one was pretty good. And yeah, overall it's a bit jank in places, I think this is also the least janky of the lot, but it's fun. It's it's kind of okay. My god, it's just, some of the, <laughs> some of the situations are just so stupid though. That's like the only thing for me that's a bit like, oh no. Oh no, please. Please. Okay. Well, that's that, that was Wallace and Gromit, we did it. We beat another one. We did it. Also, the muzzle guy literally angered me so much. He was like such a dickhead throughout that. That was like, oh, whatever. I'm kind of over it. Kind of over it, but at the same time, whatever. Also, the car thing is so dumb. <laughs> I I know it's like lighthearted and silly, but that sort of thing is so like, <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it though. It's like, yeah, we can make something fly. It's the way they were steering it as well that I think really tilted me. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, I also feel like the lighting was a bit bugged with this one. Like, it looks a little bit weird. Um, In, like, places. But I, I do... Part of me is just thinking maybe it was just, like, a way that this episode was done. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, good stuff, right? Well, we have one left to do, one Wallace and Gromit to go, and that will be happening next week. Um, I don't know what we're gonna fill with Thursdays with yet. So Thursdays, for anyone who doesn't know, is usually like a whatever the hell I feel like day. I just thought that this would be like a nice way to sort of work into that. So we'll wait and see. I don't know what I'm gonna be playing for consecutive Thursdays after next week. Um. But yeah, we have one more Wallace and Gromit to go for them. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm streaming it. Ooh, I just yeeted a pencil. I was, <laughs> that was just messing with. Um, I will be back again tomorrow for Disco Elysium. We'll be doing a bonus stream for that. Um, so I will be back. Um, but yeah, we'll be starting Journey on Monday. 
two more days of Disco, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will be the finale of Wallace and Gromit next week. So we have a lot of things happening. A lot of fun and exciting things happening. And then on the 30th, I think, I think it's the 30th, whatever, a few Tuesdays, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after, we'll be starting uh, Baldur's Gate 3. So we have that to look forward to as well. As well as any other short games that get picked on the wheel in the meantime. But yeah, I'm honestly really happy with the system we have at the moment though. I feel like it's going to mean that we can get through a lot more games and like have a much more varied time of it. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it all. You guys in the nine Telltale Inc. 2009, everyone. Who would have thunk it? Wallace is just like, fuck. <laughs> that was a look of regret from Wallace right there. But yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you everyone for watching today. Thank you, British. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jay Boogie. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Ali. Uh, and thank you, anybody else that's hung around today. I appreciate you. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. I will be back tomorrow, like I said, but for the meantime, I hope everyone has a good evening and a good Friday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow evening for some Disco Elysium. Have a good one. Bye-bye.